ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் குட் மார்னிங் வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸ் மை செல்ஃப் சுபா ஹவ் ஆர் யூ ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஆர் ஆல் சேஃப் அட் ஹோம் டுடே யூ கேன் லேர்ன் சோஷியல் சயின்ஸ் திஸ் அபவுட் த சாப்டர் எக்னாமிக்ஸ் ஓகே இன் தட் எக்னாமிக்ஸ் அபவுட் நேஷ்னல் இன்கம் ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் do you know uh what is economics uh from which word this economics has derived and who is the father of economics do you know okay yes what is economics you can see this economics is the study of the use of scarce resources that have alternative uses okay so about this economics economics is a one of the definition is economics is the study of the use of scarce resources that have alternative use that is a simple definition another one econom uh, definition is economics is a social science concerned with the production distribution and the consumption of goods and services it studies how individuals business government and nation make choice about how to allocate resources okay so what was the definition of economics economics is a social science which concerned with the production distribution and consumption of goods and services okay so uh, this economics from which word it was derived do you know this economics the word economics comes from two greek words echo and norms echo mean meaning home or household and norms meaning management so it is a household management next term so uh, this uh, economics has derived from the greek word two greek word eiko and nomos okay yes uh, eiko meaning do you know that is the house or household and nomos means management or account household management are you clear okay next one of the founding father of economics that alfred marshall he has described that our economics is about the study of scarcity and choice economics finds way of recounseling unlimited wants with limited resources and also he has informed that economics explains the problem of living in communities in terms of the underlying resources cost and consumer benefit and also economics is about the coordination of activities which result from spec specialization okay next one question who is the father of economics do you know yes very good uh, adam smith okay who is the father of economics adam smith he is a economist scottish economist and also one of the philosopher and also a famous author next students do you know who is the mother of economics that is the amartya sen at the same time he is also called as the indian economist who is the indian economist or who is the mother of economics that is amartya sen so amartya sen has been called the mother teresa of economics for what purpose he was called as the mother teresa of economics because he has worked on famine human development welfare economics poverty gender inequality and political liberation for all this he has worked so he was called as the mother of economics okay once again i am asking uh, what is economics economics is the study of use of scarce resources that have alternative uses okay 
at the same time this economics was divided into two that is positive economics normative economics do you know what is positive economics why do uh, or positive economics has no value judgment but at the same time normative economics has value judgment this positive economics for what purpose what is but normative economics what ought to be here positive economics why do people use money but at the same time in the normative economics should people use money okay next again this economics was divided into two that is micro economics and macro economics you all know what is the meaning for micro micro means small isn't it okay right next macro means large so micro economics what is meant by micro economics listen carefully what is meant by micro economics micro economics is the study of individual and business decisions okay study of individuals micro economics means what it is the study of individuals about the particular at the same time what is meant by macro economics macro economics is the study of countries and government throughout the world or throughout the country so my uh, this Uh, already you have learned this micro economics and macro economics and who is the father of economics do you know that is the adam smith is called as the father of economics when he was born means 1723 and when he died 1790 okay next we can come to our uh, lesson topic okay national income before that i will explain about gdp what do you mean by uh, gdp gdp um, this national income only gdp also is coming gross domestic product okay before that i'll explain about this what is national income do you all know who which is your nation india isn't it yes right india is our nation so income what do you mean by income money okay um, we all know in our family uh, your father or your mother is earning that is also an income isn't it sometime your father will do some business or some job through that they are earning some income that is called as income so national income that is the government's income a okay, national income means the country's income is called as a national income so uh, what do you mean by this national income national income is a measure of the total money value of goods and services produced by an economy over a period of time that means normally one year so what do you mean by national income national income is a measure of the total money value of goods and services produced by an economy over a period of time normally a year commonly national income is called as gross national product or national dividend okay so in this lesson we are going to study about this uh, na about national income gross national product versus gross domestic product okay gross national product what do you mean by this so uh, before that i will say under this national income there are various terms of national income measuring national income so uh, in this lesson about this seven topics we are going to talk today we are going to say about this seven topic okay seven terms of national income uh, what are the various terms associated with measuring of national income there are seven sub top sub topic uh, topics that is gross national product gross domestic product net national product net domestic product per capita income personal income disposable income okay are you clear 
k1 by 1 we can explain uh, gross national product what do you mean by gross national product this gross national product is the total value of goods and services produced and income received in a year by domestic resident of a country but inside the country okay not outside gross national product is the total value of goods and services goods in the sense things isn't it service means what term doctor engineer collector from there they are earning the money then a teacher that produced an income received in a year by domestic resident of a country it include profit earned from capital invested abroad are you clear so uh, gnp gnp um, is equal to c plus i plus g plus x minus m plus nfia that is one formula for calculating gross national product okay students what was the formula for gross national product that is c plus i plus g plus x minus m plus n f i a now i'll uh, clearly explain about what was the expansion of c c means consumption i investment g government expenditure x minus m x means export uh, m import nfia means net factor income from abroad okay so this gross national product is the total value all these things are added of goods and service produced and income received in year by domestic residency of a country it include profit earned from capital invested abroad from other country it was investing the uh, profit also so consumption plus investment plus government expenditure plus export minus import plus net factor income from abroad these all these are calculated together is called as a gross national product are you clear next gross domestic product what do you know about this domestic domestic means inside the country isn't it it won't go outside or abroad so gross domestic product is also called as gdp is the total value of output of goods and service produced by the factors of production students do you know what are the factors of production land labor capital and organization these are the four factors there are four factors of production in economics what are the four factors of production land labor capital and organization okay within the geographical boundaries of a country so gross domestic product means it will be calculated in the boundary of the country not the abroad so gross domestic product is the total value of output of goods and service produced uh, by the factors of production what are the factors of production there are four factors of production they are land labor capital organization okay now imagine uh, you are going to a hotel what will happen in the hotel you place an order for two idlis and a cup of tea so now you can find out this idli and tea are made by someone else or produced they both the things are produced isn't it so these are a tangible physical thing you can touch and feel economist call such tangible item goods these goods are not free from but have to pay or to be paid we want to pay so we can't uh realize it addition to this tangible things called goods something else is being produced the work done by the cook and the people who serve the food activity of cooking and serving is not something you can feel and touch such activity are not tangible but never to enjoy the food economy is called such active services okay well, one who is serving is called as a services so what will happen every day in a hotel at a nation wide in the world wide goods and services are produced and paid for this and this what the gdp measures okay uh, uh, for example this gdp is calculated um, c plus i plus g plus x minus m 
கன்சம்ஷன் ப்ளஸ் இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் ப்ளஸ் கவர்மெண்ட் எக்ஸ்பெண்டிச்சர் ப்ளஸ் எக்ஸ்போர்ட் மைனஸ் இம்போர்ட் ஸோ குட்ஸ் ஆர் டேஞ்சிபிள் ஐட்டம் ஒயில் சர்வீஸ் ஆர் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் விச் ஆர் இன்டேஞ்சிபிள் ஒரு கிளியர் குட்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீசஸ் ஒட் யூ மென் பை திஸ் குட்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீசஸ் குட்ஸ் ஆர் டேஞ்சிபிள் ஐட்டம் ஒயில் சர்வீசஸ் ஆர் இன்டேஞ்சிபிள் ஐட்டம் மார்க்கெட் வேல்யூ திஸ் இஸ் அ ப்ரைஸ் அட் விச் குட்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீஸ் ஹோல்ட் இன் த மார்க்கெட் ஸோ ஃபைனல் குட்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீசஸ் மீன்ஸ் வாட் எக்கானமிஸ் ஃபைனல் குட்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீஸ் ஆர் குட்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீஸ் விச் வில் யூஸ்ட் ஆர் கன்சியூம் த குட்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீஸ் விச் வில் யூஸ்ட் பை ஃபார் ப்ரொடியூசிங் அதர் குட்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீஸ் அண்ட் வில் ஃபார்ம் எ பார்ட் ஆஃப் குட்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீஸ் ப்ரொடியூஸ்ட் ஆர் கால் இன்டர்மீடியட் குட்ஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஒன்லி த ஃபைனல் குட்ஸ் ஆர் இன்க்ளூடட் இன் த ஜிடிபி ஓகே so uh, for example a cup of tea you are buying from a hotel it is the final good because you are consuming that okay uh, so this market value of the cup of tea being a final good is included in the gdp at the same time to prepare tea what are the items you want to include sugar tea powder and sugar which is mixed in tea is the intermediate good that is the intermediate good because it is used in making tea and form a part of tea sir suppose the for example you can take tea is price rupees 10 for one cup of tea rupees 10 at the same time the value of sugar used is rupees 2 price of cup of tea include is rupees 2 price of spoon of sugar also rupees 2 and Uh, if this value of sugar is included in gdp it will be counted twice as a spoon of sugar and again the pot of cup of tea this is double count uh, uh so that only it is excluded from this gdp okay gdp means what a gross domestic product it is the total value of output of goods and services produced by the factors of production within the geographical boundaries of the country within our country inside the country whole nattile urpatti pannukku okay next one third one is the uh, net national product net national product and a net domestic product net national product what do you mean by net national product nnp the net national product is arrived by making some adjustment with regard to depreciation that is we arrive the net national product by deducting the value of depreciation from gross national product so nnp is equal to gnp minus depreciation okay say net national product what is that by making some adjustment with regard to depreciation depreciation means reduction so that is we arrive the net national product by deducting the value of depreciation from gross national product from so the actual formula for nnp nnp what is the full form of nnp students that is net national product okay so net national product is equal to uh, gnp minus depreciation clear next term net domestic product net domestic product is a part of gross domestic product right net nas- net domestic product is obtained from the gross domestic product by deducting the quantum of tier and year expense okay here also another formula net domestic product is equal to gross domestic product minus depreciation ndp equal to gdp minus depreciation okay so once again i am saying net domestic product that means part of gross domestic product net domestic product how it is obtained from the gross domestic product by reducing the uh, quantum of tier and wear expense of depreciation so so the actual formula for calculating ndp is equal to gdp minus depreciation very clear next one is the per capita income what do you mean by per capita income or how we can calculate this per capita income per capita income from this word itself we can understand clearly it is the output per person 
ஓகே தமிழில் சே தனி நபர் வருமானம் ஸோ பெர் கேபிட்டா இன்கம் ஒரு மீன் பை பெர் கேபிட்டா இன்கம் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ கால்டு அஸ் அவுட் புட் பர் பர்சன் இஸ் அன் இண்டிகேட்டர் டு ஷோ த லிவிங் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் இன் ஏ கண்ட்ரி வாட் இஸ் அ யூஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் பெர் கேபிட்டா இன்கம் டூ யூனோ இட் வில் ஷோ த ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ஆஃப் லிவிங் ஆஃப் த பீப்புள் இட் இஸ் அப்ட இன் ஹவு வி வில் கெட் திஸ் பெர் கேபிட்டா இன்கம் டூ யூனோ தேர் இஸ் ஒன் ஃபார்ம்லா பெர் கேபிட்டா இன்கம் டு கால்குலேட் திஸ் பெர் கேபிட்டா இன்கம் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு நேஷ்னல் இன்கம் பை பாப்புலேஷன் the uh, it was calculated per capita income was calculated by national income divided by population okay are you clear next sixth one is the personal income sixth one is the personal personal once again i'm saying fifth one per capita income uh, it was calculated by total income of area by total population okay total or national income by population like this also per capita income was calculated next on personal income what do you mean by this personal income its short form is pi okay this personal income is the total money income personal income is the total money income received by individuals okay and household of a country from where they are getting means from all possible sources before direct taxes what do you mean by this personal income personal income is the total money income received by individuals and households of a country from all possible sources before direct taxes are you clear so once again i am explaining personal income what do you mean by that personal income is the total money income received by individuals and household of a country from all possible sources possible sources means what a from agriculture industry business etc before direct taxes next finally at last one is the disposable income last one is the disposable income what do you mean by this disposable income that means actual income which can be spent on consumption by individuals and family so disposable income what do you mean by this disposable income it means actual income which can be spent on consumption by individuals and family this it can be expressed as disposable income so this uh, disposable income can be calculated by uh, pi minus direct taxes okay personal income minus direct tax from consumption approach direct uh, disposable income is equal to consumption expenditure plus saving are you clear okay once again we can recall what do you mean by economics economics is a social science concerned with the production distribution and consumption of goods and services okay who is the father of economics adam smith is called as the father of economics who is the mother of economics amartya sen is the mother of economics and what we have learned economics was divided into two positive economics normative economics this positive economics what is and normative economics means what ought to be at the same time positive economics why do people use money and the same time normative normative economics should people use money okay positive economics no have no value judgment but at the same time normative economics has value judgment at the same time again this economics was divided into two that is microeconomics and macroeconomics okay what do you, uh, what do you mean by microeconomics okay right uh, study of individuals about the individual and macroeconomics study of country and government are you clear next term 
uh, uh, that also I have taught. The word economics comes from two Greek words. Do you know? This echo meaning home and norms meaning account. Account or management. Household management. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, uh, you want to take notes and study this thoroughly. Okay. Thank you, students.